Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, it's been a couple days since I've done any, I've just been busy. So today I'm going to do a good number of them. Um, I'm going to start out with um, iobit uh, Security 360. It's a free um, security software, antivirus as you want to call it, maybe, you know, malware. Um, they also offer a paid version, but I decided to try out the free one. So uh, it's a small installer, 8.87 megabytes. Uh, I have like, I don't know, 12 or 13 brand new URLs um, within probably the last 24 to 48 hours. And um, they all have fairly low detection rates. Okay, so as you saw, the program's uh, easy to install. And we are going to check for updates right now. It's about 3 meg megabytes, so it does download some definitions on the computer. Let's go under settings here. You can see everything's turned on there. Okay, everything looks pretty good here. So we're not going to mess with anything there. Under uh, protection, we are going to turn on the advanced protection against unknown threats. Um, you can get some, I guess, um, you know, false, you know, some falsing from it, but this is, you really need this turned on. There's no point. Uh, the signatures, I doubt, are uh, fast enough and new enough to catch a lot of stuff. You have a scan panel, you have an overview, and you have some tools here. You know, hijack scan, security holes, passive defense, unlock and delete, that type of stuff. Okay, so uh, let's check the update one more time here, make sure we're up. Yep, there you go. We're updated. Um, you don't get automatic updates, if I remember right, with the free version. You only get it when the program starts, when you re when you start your computer again. You can't, so you can't do any of the automatic updates. So that's okay. So let's get started here. See what we can do. See what kind of damage I can do to this. Okay, let's see if we get anything here. Don't see anything from it. Okay, we have a, a bash file trying to run, so let's run that and see what happens. Okay, don't see anything, anything there. So far, two have been missed. Okay, looks like that one made it by two. I have a couple ones in here that are a little bit older mixed in. So let's see if I can catch those maybe a day or, you know, like closer to 48 hours. Definitely haven't seen anything yet. There's definitely stuff in this computer, I tell you that right now. Okay, so that one's dead. Let's open up Internet Explorer again here. Oh, looks like uh, I killed my internet connection. Yep. Definitely killed it. Whatever I got on here really did a job to it. So, let's see what we can do here. I am going to disconnect from the net because I'm getting a lot of activity here and I got a pop up from my uh, antivirus too so I might have a nasty worm in here. So let's do a yeah we'll close that out for now. Let's see if we can get it to fix let's do a hijack scan here and see what we got. Okay, as you can see, we do have some stuff in startup. 
trying to mess with. Okay, so. Okay, so we definitely do have some stuff. Browser helper object. Okay, so. Let's do a full time, let's do a full scan of the system here. And I'll pause the video while this is scanning and I will be back. See what happens. Okay, the scan just finished and as you can see I found 17 threats. Um, a lot of these are registry changes. Here's a file. Most of these are registry changes. So I'm going to remove these and it's probably going to ask me to restart the computer. Or maybe not. Okay, now let's see if uh, the internet works again here. Should be connected back online. Nope, there you go, it still doesn't work. So, what I'm going to do right now is I got malware bytes downloaded here. And I'm going to do a, I'm going to install it real quick just like I normally do. And I'm going to see if it'll update. Might not update, but it might have good enough signatures with it to get rid of some of this stuff. Enough to maybe aware I can get the internet back. Okay, it did pop up uh, a startup item, which is fine. Malware bytes. Nope. Definitely killed the internet. So, let's do a quick scan with the signatures that it has. Oh, I wanna, we want to allow that. Okay, I'm going to pause while the computer is done thinking here. So, uh, I'll uh, be back when the scan finishes. Okay, so the Malwarebytes scan just finished, and I said I found 18 things. Let's check it out. Let's arrange them here. Okay, we got uh, Backdoor Bob. We got some registry changes. We still got that uh, Win32, WinHelp32.exe, that backdoor still there. Um, we have a good amount of Trojans. We have a Zlob. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here that it just never caught. Uh, Iobit security. And this is, uh, remember, that I can't even update um, Malwarebytes. This is with their old signature file. And um, let's, uh, let's go back to the main menu here. So I'll show you what, uh, it's 2775. It's over a month ago, and it still caught that many more that uh, a fully updated IOBIT security didn't catch. So to me, uh, at this point in time, I definitely I'm pretty disappointed in uh, 360. Um, I wouldn't use it as my main protection. As you saw, it didn't pop up any warnings when all that malware get, was getting installed, but then when a valid application like Malwarebytes was installing and trying to run, it, you got two warnings. So that's just weird. Eh, pretty annoying, too. Um, I'm just going to leave it like this, I guess. And. Um, I, I give IOBIT security, I don't know, it did stop some stuff, so I'll give it like a 4 to 5 out of 10, um, but not more than that, definitely not more than 5, because as you saw, it it let the, the uh, internet connection get killed, and I'd have to get another program to fix that, and whatever. Um, that's it for this review, and I'm going to see if I can get one more out. Before I gotta go do some stuff. So uh, I'll talk to everybody later.